Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, we're gonna be making a Joker costume. Now, I know the movie came out last year, but this year I have long hair, so that's today's project. So the Joker costume is pretty simple. It's just a colorful suit. And I saw a lot online for way, way too much money. We can do it for less than 20 bucks. Hey guys, we are here at my thrift store looking for some pieces of clothes to make this Joker costume out of. Now, typically I don't bring you along with me to the store, I just shoot the videos in my studio and show you what I bought. But this costume is really heavy on what you find at the thrift store. If you get lucky, if you don't get lucky, and for that reason I figured I'd bring the show with me today. So let's go inside. All right, so first things first, this green dress shirt. Now his does have a, a bit of a texture, well, a pattern on it. It's not quite squares like this. I'm wondering maybe if we could somehow add it onto a shirt that's got a really good color like this one. Here's the vests here. Now I'm not seeing any, uh, any yellow or the color I'm looking for. This one's only four bucks. Might be able to, to change the color, paint it. Mm. For Joker's suit coat, the uh, men's section, <laughs> no, those suit coats aren't gonna work. But don't be afraid to check out the women's section because a lot of these are gonna work pretty well. is too jackety. Hmm. See, it's not just about the red color, but also the specific shapes. He's got a very uh, 70s, 80s suit, so it's got a rather large uh, lapel, and just trying to find the right thing. Grandma sweater. Ooh, cheetah print joker. I'm not seeing any red suit pants to go along with this, but these red, uh, almost like red jeans, kind of match the color fairly closely, and I think they'll fit, so might have to go with these guys. All right, guys, so now we're here at the costume store, because. I need some makeup for this Joker suit. So I think this clown makeup kit is gonna work quite nicely. It's got white, it's got red and blue, so let's go. All right, so this is a really good haul from the thrift store. But our next step is going to be modifying each of our pieces of clothing to make them perfect for this Joker costume. Now, this is specific to what you find at the thrift store. You might find something that's got the right color, or got the right shape, and you gotta modify each one, or vice versa. But I'm gonna show you what I have to do, and uh, it's gonna be a different technique for each article of clothing. Okay, so the first thing we are going to start with is this green shirt. Now, it's got a really good color to it, and I'll try it on for you guys. It's slightly on the large side, but I don't think we need to take it in at all. Uh, that's okay, because this is gonna go under the vest and the suit coat, so I think it's perfectly fine the way it is. The only thing it's missing is, of course, the pattern. Now, Joker's shirt does have kind of a pattern with some circles on it, and uh, I couldn't find anything that was even kind of close at the thrift store, so we are going to draw it on with a silver sharpie. I believe his are white details, but obviously the silver sharpie is going to be the best color that will show up when drawn on the shirt. 
need something to trace circles. I was about to freehand all these circles on, but now I'm thinking maybe something like a roll of tape for all that. And then there's some smaller ones. You could use maybe a coin or maybe I can freehand the small ones, but these giant ones, whew, they would have looked awful if I just started drawing them with this marker. All right, let's try that again. I eyeballed the rest of the circles and I didn't need to follow the picture too closely. It's just kind of an abstract circle design there. And also you don't need to cover the entire shirt, uh, just the part that's going to be seen underneath the vest and the jacket. But here it is all completed and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's nice and quick, a pattern that cannot be found at any store and yeah, that's it for the shirt. The next thing I want to make is Joker's vest. So this vest actually works really, really well. It fits me quite nicely. We don't need to do any modifications on the shape or the style of this jacket. The only glaring thing is it's not yellow. But it being white, this is actually fairly easy to change the color of. Now, this is made out of linen, so you could totally dye this yellow, but that's not really the uh, DIY way we do it on the costume kid. We're gonna be using my old favorite, spray paint. I picked up this yellow spray paint, which matches the color from the movie very nicely, and yeah, we're just gonna take this outside and paint it up. Okay, back from spray painting now, and I'm really digging the color on this thing. And when I try it on, oh yeah, it's Joker's vest now. Alrighty, and moving on now to Joker's suit jacket. So this red women's coat looks pretty great. Uh, sleeves fit me very nicely. Really the only thing that doesn't fit me well is it's too wide. Now I'm a fairly skinny guy, as is Joker, and it just, I feel like if it was taken in a bit more, and it looked more like that, it would be a lot better. Now you would normally do this with a sewing machine, and you can do that, but I'm trying to keep this episode a very easy last minute DIY. So instead, I'm going to show you a technique on how to take in a jacket using hot glue. So on two sides of the back of the jacket, I folded over the fabric just about an inch or two so that we can shrink this jacket down a little. And then first I pinned it down so I could make sure that it was nice and straight, an even amount of the fabric. And then this would be the time when you would run it through a sewing machine. However, I am just gonna squirt some hot glue down and press the fabric together. Don't worry, it's still very secure. The hot glue just soaks right into the fabric and it makes a very simple and quick way to take in a jacket without sewing. All right, this jacket is looking a lot slimmer now and I'm quite happy with it. The last thing I need to fix is you've probably already noticed it has gold buttons both here and on the sleeves. Now, Joker's jacket actually has some small red ones. Now, you could try painting these, but they're a bit uh, big and obnoxious. They have kind of an emblem going on, and you would need to paint the back of them too, because that's gold, so I really wouldn't recommend that. Uh, you could try to make your own <laughs> out of some foam or cardboard and paint them red. Uh, or you could just buy some red buttons that match the one in the movie and sew them on. But I think for the time being, what I am going to do is actually just cut them off and leave it like that. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, then you can't button the jacket closed. And you're right, but actually in the movie, Joker never wears his suit coat fully buttoned. He always wears it open so that you can see the vest and the shirt underneath. So I'm perfectly fine just not having buttons right now. So yeah. So 
So that is it for the jacket. Moving on now to the pants. So these red women's pants work pretty well. I don't think there's anything else we need to do to these. But uh, if you wanted to get a little more accurate, you could buy some suit pants and then paint them or dye them red. Then they would have the same cut as suit pants and not as these pants. But I maximize for the right color over the right style, so these uh, work perfectly fine. Yeah, I think that's it. And a final piece, Joker wears some brown dress shoes. So these are actually my own brown dress shoes, but they look close enough and they were free to use because I just had them in my closet. If you don't, uh, maybe you can try to borrow them from a family member or a friend, or you can find them cheaply at the thrift store. But that completes the costume and it's time to try it on. Whew. These pants are a little tight, a little tight. Now, although it kind of pains me to do this, Joker does wear some white socks with his brown shoes. All right. Wow. I am loving the way this is looking. I know you can't quite see the full body right now, but the last thing we need to do is, of course, the hair and makeup. All right, now this is a first for me. I don't ever do makeup on the show, but there's a first time for everything. We're gonna figure it out, and I figured Joker was the perfect costume to try it out. All right, so we're gonna start with this white uh, cream makeup. And, uh, oh, looks like they gave me this little sponge, so, uh, hey, there's still foam in this video. All right, just dip this stuff, get it going, and, uh, start up, start on the side. Ooh, ooh, it's cold, it's cold. It's actually, well, it's covering well. I was really worried that this very cheap, crappy white makeup would just totally not cover and the makeup he wears in the movie it's very it's very opaque it's like it's like paint it covers his face but this is working hey hey I'm Santa Claus you don't need to go quite to the edge of the face because uh, it's got kind of a, a border he does this really messily so I guess that's good because I can make this as messy as I want. No. Oh, it's fine. Joker did it. Okay, I think I think I'm good on the white. Now it's time for the red and the blue. So, luckily enough, they're in this perfect little hack. What am I supposed to What am I supposed to use it? This thing? What is this thing? This thing's a little small. Got a lot of area to cover. I think that's a successful mission on the uh, blue guys here. Ooh. Last step should be the the red. There's a lot of red. Eyebrows, nose, mouth. You know. I'm just gonna use a paintbrush. This red is actually probably covering the worst, or it's picking up the most of the uh, um, white because it's becoming pinker. Uh, but that's fine. I think that might be good. <laughs> wow! I have impressed myself a little bit here. That's not bad for the first time trying to do Joker makeup. It's definitely recognizable, but it's missing one thing. The green hair. So I picked up this green hairspray. It says it's temporary. Really hoping I don't get stuck with uh, green hair for a while, but it's okay. Uh, you could also use a green wig, because I know he does have kind of long hair, but 
Actually, mine matches it quite well, so all I gotta do is spray it green. All right, it's hairspray time. Oh, I have green hair! 